Thank you. Um, can you maybe share how you first found inner dance or how it found you? Mm. I was going to a Kundalini yoga class in Malaysia and um, the facilitator for this class had gone to the Philippines and worked with Pai and um, also worked with him when he had come to Malaysia. Um, there weren't so many people in Malaysia back in 2012 um, that had been doing inner dance. I just happened to live walking distance from this yoga studio where this Kundalini yoga teacher was holding a session, one session a week. He did sessions at other places too. So this was, this was, this was convenient. Um, it was, it was after the second class that I went to, um, and my body was just kind of shaking a lot during the session. And uh, I was very aware of how much m vibration <laughs> and like very physical vibration was moving through me during the class. So afterwards, he had asked if um, if energy had always been that strong in my system or if it was something that happened only after I was struck by lightning. Um, so that kind of got the conversation started. And, uh, no, I let him know, no, it's, it's been like this <laughs> lightning strikes were just a part of maybe this greater dynamic that's been there. And so he said, that's interesting. Um, there's this thing called inner dance. It's kind of like an energy playtime. And would you be interested? Uh, I, I, I didn't care much for the name. It didn't you know, mean much, but the idea of energy playtime uh, was very intriguing. So yes, I love to play with energy, uh, whatever this is, if it's an energy playtime, sure, let's, let's go play. He's like, okay, I'm going to be um, organizing a session sometime soon. A friend of mine is coming back from China and she feels ready to facilitate. So this other Kundalini yoga teacher um, had also been in the Philippines and working with Pai. And so the two of them felt ready to hold some sessions and they wanted to try it out. So um, it was really soon after that, that he invited a few people over to his house. And um, it was just a small group of us, maybe three or four. Mm. Yeah. There wasn't much spoken because um, this was their first time exploring what it was going to be like. Uh, so it was like, all right, just go ahead and lay down. And then they put some music on. And uh, um, yeah, it was it was very unexpected uh, and familiar at the same time. Um, not having any instructions really just gave me permission to be in myself where Ever I was at and to just feel whatever was going to come up without any instructions or intentions or um, modes, modes of practicing. Yeah, there was none mm -hmm. of that. Um, and then my first inner dance session was exactly one year after I had been struck by lightning and that I didn't put the pieces together until afterwards, but um, that was pretty significant. Um, and, and my first inner dance experience did feel a lot like the surges of electricity when the body goes into very, very heightened vibrational states, uh, but in a, in a physical way at a cellular level. And um, mm. that happens a lot in breath work. Um, but I, I had actually noticed that as I had slowed down my breathing and let it get deeper and deeper, the sensation was increasing rather than subsiding. So it wasn't because of in um, like inducing the state through breathing or something else mm -hmm. it just was coming up very strong. So um, yeah, I was able to sit with it, but it was also extremely uncomfortable um, and there was no reference for what that was or why. 
And afterwards I had thought, wow, if this is what everyone's experiencing, my goodness, this work is really intense. And it, it took a while before I realized, oh, this isn't what everyone else's experience is like. Uh, so now what, how do I, <laughs> how, how, how do I internalize or integrate what this was for me when it also doesn't show up the same way for everyone else? Um, mm -hmm. I tapping mm -hmm. into then. Mm -hmm. Um, is it because of this work? Is it because of me? Is this just another piece in the puzzle that I was also, you know, destined, intended to find in some way? Uh, because this energy was also already there. So it's just like aligning back with a piece of yourself, <laughs> especially if you move to the other side of the world and start living in Asia and you don't really know why. Uh, and yeah. I had only been in Asia for less than a year at that point when I was wow. first introduced to the inner dance. Mm -hmm. mm. 